Hey guys, we're going to sit out here and do a quick little video over how to stay hidden uh, from a turkey and turkey's vision. So first start off with the turkey's vision there. Uh, turkeys have very good vision. They've got 270 degrees uh, worth of vision so they can cover a large area very quickly. But how I like to hide from turkeys, uh, first kind of start off with the entry and exit there. Anytime a cover, uh, cover crop or any kind of ditch, uh, I'm going to try to jump in there, a tree line to follow down in there. And you'll make sure you got you know where your birds are roosted at. But if you can follow that either in a creek or you know on some sort of a, a trail system there that you feel pretty confident, uh, that works out very well. Now, as you uh, sit set up there for either a morning and an afternoon hunt, depending on what your regulations allow, uh, always keep that sun in mind. There, you want to try to sit in the sit shade there. So you know if that sun when that sun rises from the east, you know the further on the east hand side of the trees um, then that really works out well so definitely try to keep that sun to your back uh, when you're hunting there that way you know once those birds can get uh, roosted or off the roost there you should have a pretty good idea where you're able to be and you won't be blinded by that sun um, the very last thing there is going to be uh, your kind of your apparel there uh, camo is extremely important you know to try to keep uh, you know sitting still not moving very much but you know look at your terrain there there's a lot of different uh, camo patterns out there specifically for terrain such as what you're hunting in but one other item that i've really found to be uh, very beneficial is hex um, it's the craziest thing in the world to you know uh, how that stuff works but for instance up there in kansas i mean we've walked outside and had turkeys down in the fields and those birds will go back in the woods and then we've had times where we've actually walked out in some of these fields and those birds maybe 70 80 100 yards away from us and they just watch and it's almost like they don't understand what what it is when you've got that hex on so um you know same for a deer uh, i don't know what it is about that stuff uh, but i bought into it there a couple of years ago and i've been really impressed um you know over the course of probably a five-year time span um, and they've got several different, you know, uh, variations to, to roll with there. So hopefully this helps you guys out on staying hidden. A couple ideas in regards to camel pattern, as well as using hex there, how you get in and out. And hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature. And like always, best luck on your upcoming hunt.